Hey guys, Bill C. Mattel from the BBZ TV, Northwest Territory, Great Bear Lake. We're going to do some old school the stuff. The 8 inch Tiger Tube. Also, these are some of the handmaids I made uh, with uh, Pete Cormier from Deadly Duo Plastic. 8 inch tube. Uh, we have a 1.5 ounce uh, jig in there with a 8-aught uh, um, Gamagatsu hook. And then we have a stinger hook with a uh, big treble on the back. All the barbs are smashed down. Derek and I were going to do some throwing, and what we did is we came down this uh, little alley um, in the main lake, and we found a neck down. We found basically a funnel where these fish can pile up bait fish and eat. Water depth is anywhere from about 20 foot to 50. We're going to back troll using a rental boat with a 20 horse. We're going to back troll, keep it kind of shallow. We're going to throw out to deeper water, and we're going to fish the entire water column. We're going to take these tubes, we're going to throw them out, let them go down the bottom in 50 and they're going to rip them and do a bunch of directional changes. The key on these big trout is you're going to get multiple hits. They're going to pop it, smack it, run by it and just keep working it till the rod loads up and we're going to see if we can catch a big lake trout on the deadly duo tubes or the old uh, tiger tubes that I made. Uh, we're pairing it up with the uh, Shimano Calcutta 400 TE. We have 65 pound braid, Maxima braid and we have some old school llama glass rods they don't make them anymore but these are the big bait specials that i helped design almost 20 years ago so uh derek and i are going to go out there and uh let's see if we could uh, catch a couple lake trout throwing monster tubes up here at great bear lake okay guys just a big old deadly duo tube this is one of the handmaids we made uh shoot this thing's got to be almost 15 years old maybe even 20. and like i said we have a 65 pound braid um, I got an, a swim bait special. Derek's got a. What kind of rod do you got, Derek? This is a Shimano Terez made for the wax wing. So you got a Shimano Terez made for the wax wing. And it looks like you got it paired up with a Shimano 300. A you know, 300 EJ. EJ. It's uh, also designed for the wax wing. Okay. Came up here with this rod and setup and the wax wing to just experiment. Perfect. Got some pike on the wax wing. I just have this ready to go. Rather than break down my trolling rig, I just threw the tube on here. We're going to see what happens. Perfect. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to come up. We got a neck down. Um, we got a big arm over here, and then we just got a neck down. And you, we could see some current flow. You could actually, if you look real close, you see the difference of the ripple of the water. And we have the wind blowing through, and it's creating a current seam here. Bait fish are stacking up, and we're going to come up on the, the right hand side of this point here and we're going to work out in the center of the cut and actually pop these tubes out there and basically what we're doing is throwing the tube out you're letting it fall and you're just you're hopping it and this is the same kind of stuff I was doing in the 90s at Casitas for monster bass and we're going to see if we can catch a big trout on them okay we're going to slow this down we got some wind coming here we got the current seam we see the color change it's probably 10 to 20 foot here in the color and then out here it drops down to 30 to 50 foot and I'm just going to throw it out in front of the boat and adjust the big motor I got it in reverse just back trolling if I want to stop for a second I'll just take it out of gear gonna throw it out there and just there we go look at first cast first cast up that point oh dude first cast up the point and have a Trout come up and smack it. Let's see how big it is. Nice trout. Nice trout. He smoked that tube. First cast. Look at that thing. Okay, we're gonna take it out of gear. Just oh <laughs> first cast with the tube. And uh we got a nice big laker. Okay, here we go. Derek's gonna put it in the net. Nice, look at that thing. Looky there. The nice thing about having barbless, okay, the, the fish is wrapped, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo the tube real quick so I can get it off around this trout. Okay, so we got that clear. Derek's going to support the tail, and he's going to grab up underneath the, the throat of it, support it. Nice fish. Okay, now we're going to let it go put it back in the water and and we're gonna do some really cool catch and release right here and that fish wasn't 
Oh, there he goes. Hey guys, I'm telling you that that was the first cast with the big tubes. We found the right brake line. And you guys remember, you know, this is what we preach here at the BBZ TV, is if you do proper techniques and you understand the water column, top, middle, bottom, what the fish are looking for, it doesn't matter if you're fishing for lake trout, pike, muskie, salmon, you fish the right techniques in the right place, you're gonna catch fish. That was the first cast with the big tube off a brake line thrown out working uphill, doing directional changes and caught a nice lake trout first time. Great Bear Lake up in Northwest Territory. So Derek and I are gonna turn around and we're gonna try to catch a couple more on film and then we might do some trolling and show you that next. So stay tuned, let's see what we can do. Okay, the wind got us out of position a little bit. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come out here now and we're gonna throw to the bank and uh, hop it down this 45 degree wall down to the you know 30, 40, 50 foot. Just like what we used to do for catching monster bass over at Lake Casitas. Working the tube. Biggest thing is just making sure you slack line it all the way to the bottom. In case there's any donkey sitting down there. Now what we're doing is just throwing it up towards these, the bank. And we're going to hop it down that shoreline. And for these Lakers, you know, you give it kind of a pretty aggressive hop. Let it hit the bottom, swim it, hop it, and then let it drop and just wait for that fish to run by and you'll feel a little tick. It's, sometimes they hit it just like a bluegill, just the slightest little tap. And you want to try to reel set into them and if you don't get anything, drop it back down and a lot of times they'll come back around and hit it again. If I was a trout, I would be working this outside of this little rounded point right here. It's a little bit of a high spot. The wind's blowing right into it. Just great, great looking piece of uh, structure. Gonna hold out just a hair more. And try to work that 20 to 40 foot zone. Throw up there on that flat. Not as deep on that. It's counting it down about a 15 count. The bait drops, the rate of fall is two, two foot per second. So we're, we're in about 30 foot of water up on that little flat. Oh, on the, on the drop! That thing hit it on the drop! I saw, my line just goes dunk! So we got one thrown out and bringing it uphill. And we got one to go that way. Now we back trolled. Oh, it came off. Oh, God, another one came up and ate it. Oh, another one came up and ate it. Uh, oh, another nice, nice little booger. <laughs> Oh, 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 So followed up, the fish popped off, and I kept working it, and there was a follower, and I ended up getting the follower to go. So that's two techniques real quick in the last five minutes, fishing this tube. The, the next one we're gonna do is Derek and I are gonna come out here right in the center, and Derek was talking about back bouncing, and we're gonna do some back bouncing with these tubes in the center over here and see if we get a look at that thing, man. Another just nice, nice, big fat so. Nice, big, big laker on a tube. Yep, okay. Derek's gonna get it right on the net right here. Nah, nice net job, buddy. That's another solid lake trout. Okay, guys, that was five minutes. Oh, another, another nice one. Take a look at this one down here. Okay, real quick. Oh, we're gonna grab it. Pretty tube fish, baby. We're gonna let it go. We let that thing swim away. Look at that thing go. Nice. Very cool. Real quick, two different techniques, kinda. All we did is we did different boat positioning. First cast, we threw out deep water, worked it uphill. 
caught a real good one. Repositioned the boat. We fished the step downs over here off this little point. Caught another fish. Now Derek brought up a great idea for throwing big tubes. Back bouncing. We're going to go out here in the center of this channel in about 50 foot of water. We're going to drop the baits back down there. I'm going to try to hold the boat and just slowly drift as we bounce these and see if we catch three different style of fish. Same technique basically. We're working a tube through the water column. But we're catching some Mongo Lake Trout up here at Great Bear Lake in the Northwest Territory. Fishing tubes exactly the same way I used to fish them at Casitas in the 90s. This stuff works. Stand by. So Derek and I, we just picked up one fish over here off this point. Right, throwing out, bringing up hill. We saw a little outside crop in here. We threw up on it, hopped it down, got a fish on the drop. We're gonna come out between this point and the first neck down into this little pocket. We know it's about 50 to 60 feet out here. We're gonna drop back and we're gonna bottom bounce the big tubes and we're gonna wind drift back in through this channel. We're gonna wind drift in this channel and this little neck down here, any bait that's coming through, we should get crushed on it. Take this thing, we're gonna pop it out of gear. I'm gonna have to adjust it as we wind drift. The wind's coming perfect. We're gonna throw the baits out and I'm gonna let mine go to the bottom and we can work different depths. We can pop it off the bottom. We can reel it real quick up in the water column in the 20, 30 foot zone. Drop it down back, you know, in the 50, 60, 70 foot zone and just keep working that zone until we get hit. And once we get hit, we kind of know what's going on or where those fish are active. So my, my bait still just drop into the bottom and I'm ready if my line pops, if I get a hit on the drop to be ready. So it's still dropping. So I'm down on the bottom now, make sure the drag's tight. And the biggest thing in when you're popping tubes is keep your line tight. Because with that stinger hook on the back, if you pop it and slack line it too much and bring that tube forward of your line, it'll drop over it and it'll foul hook all the time. So I'm gonna do some hard pops, keep my line tight, let it fall back down, open up my free spool, make sure it hits the bottom, which it does, reel it up real quick, pop it, reel it, pop it, and then I'm gonna let it fall back down. And then I'm just checking my line to make sure that we got the perfect drift, which we do. And we're just gonna basically troll. <laughs> And we'll see if we get the mama to come up and play. I want to work work the water columns, bring it up, and then I'm going to drop it all the way back down. Derek's probably you're you're on the bottom more, right? Just popping it off the bottom. Yep. So Derek's keeping it consistently on the bottom, hopping it, and I'm going to pop it from the bottom up, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet up in the water column, and then let it fly fly back down. So I'm going to be a little bit more gr aggressive. And sometimes that's what you need to do to fire these fish up to get them to hit it. I'm going to do big sweep, big pops. Get a lot of flare, got a lot of flash on it. And then I'm going to free spool it all the way back down again. You could do this at Castake. You could do it at Diamond Valley. You could do it at Champlain. I mean, this, this technique works everywhere. Derek, Derek throws out and he's bottom bouncing on the side and he, oh, nice fish, Derek. Let me get the net for you, buddy. On the tube, baby. So there's three different techniques. Three different techniques right there. Or basically one technique, we're ripping a tube. Oh, yeah. Good job, Derek. Right. <laughs> You guys familiar with saltwater fishing this is really no different than fishing the yo-yo iron we're not on the anchor the boats moving but it's the same thing you know sometimes the yo-yo is vertical straight up and down but sometimes you cast it out and hop it back to the boat and that's what you get let me hold the net for you we'll get you a pair of pliers i got it okay and what we're trying to do guys here is uh we leave the fish in the water and uh hopefully get the fish uh, unhooked safely get all of our gear cleaned up get the hooks out of the way if you need a quick pitcher you do that and then it goes and it looks like uh, the hook has already got out of the fish's mouth 
um, barbless came right out. So now the fish is clear. Derek's going to pull it in. We're going to get one little look at it. And then we'll have that thing nice. And then we'll have it back in the water within a minute. And we're going to let that thing swim away. And there you go, Bubba. There he goes. Good job, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Okay guys, that's a quick tutorial on uh, how to fish a big tiger tube um, up here at Great Bear Lake. Remember these same techniques work for big smallmouth, musky pike, definitely lake trout. And uh, just find the right areas, work the entire water column, top, middle, bottom. Like I said, we did one, we threw out deep water, we hopped it in, we threw it shallow, we hopped it out. And Derek came up with a great idea of just bottom bouncing it, throwing out behind the boat and hopping it. And he sticks one on the, on the drift. So. Just remember these techniques. Hope you guys enjoy the show here at the BBZ TV, and we'll catch you next time out on the water.